I believe all of us go through the ups and downs of life. How do we cope when we plunge into problems and challenges? How do we handle our feelings when we feel overwhelmed, lonely, sad, depressed, frustrated, disappointed, or angry? I share with you this little story that I read from a book many years ago. This struck me and taught me something very important. Max was going on a week-long trip with his family. Whenever he traveled, he always unplugged the ham radio that was on top of the freezer and disconnected the antenna. He was out of the house only to remember that he hadn't unplugged the radio. So he ran back to the house, pulled the plug, and dashed out again. Unfortunately, he had pulled the wrong plug. He had unplugged the refrigerator. For seven days, a raft full of food sat on top of a 14th floor apartment building. Take note, with the power off, and during a very hot summer. When they came home, his wife wanted to get some meat out of the refrigerator. But when she opened the refrigerator door, she got a very smelly surprise of her life. Of course, someone had to be responsible for cleaning it. So Max got to work. What is the best way to clean out a rotten interior? He asked himself. Aha! I know exactly what to do, he said. He got a rag and a bucket of water with soap and began cleaning the outside of the refrigerator. He was sure the otter would disappear with some washing. He also made sure to polish and buff to give it a good shine. When it finished, it was sparkling, but when he opened the door, the ref was still disgusting. You must be wondering what kind of a fool would do that. I know, I know, but just bear with the story and you will see. Hmm, Max thought. Maybe the refrigerator needs some friends. He's probably lonely being in the room all by himself. So, he threw a party! He invited all the appliances in the neighborhood kitchens. There were other refrigerators, stoves, microwaves, and washing machines. A couple of toasters even recognized each other from the store, and the blenders were hit and mixed well with the others. Max was sure the social interaction would cure the inside of his refrigerator. But boy, was he wrong. He opened the refrigerator door, and it was even worse. Now what? Max exclaimed. If the polished job and social life didn't help his refrigerator, maybe giving it some status would work? He stuck a Mercedes sticker on the door. He painted a tie down the front. He placed a Save the Whales bumper sticker and bought the latest and expensive cellular phone. He then splashed it with cologne and even gave it a credit card for a clout. Max was filled with pride. The refrigerator looked stylish and cool. He opened the door expecting to see a clean inside, but sadly, that didn't work either. What other options do I have? Max thought in desperation. What my refrigerator needs is some high-voltage pleasure. He bought copies of Playfridge magazines. He rented some films about foxy appliances. And he even tried to get him a hot date with a refrigerator next door, but she gave him the cold shoulder. Max thought that a few days of supercharged after hours entertainment would do the trick. But when he opened the refrigerator door, it was still revolting as ever. By now, we are all thinking the same thing. 
Who would concentrate on the outside when the problem is on the inside? Let me see. Remember those times we felt down, frustrated, and we tried to distract ourselves by buying a new dress or shoes or getting a new haircut? We felt lonely and we think the solution is to date or party or have a fling. Perhaps we felt insecure and we tried to fill the hole by acquiring material things. So a new dress is bought, cash are spent, we hang out with other people, we date or party, we feel we belong, we feel less lonely. Well until the shadows come rushing back. The important lesson this story taught me is to go within. Looking for solutions outside of the self may bring temporary relief, but if I need to address a painful emotion, I really need to go within and face it. And this is being brave, and it is the first step to heal. If you enjoyed this video, please do click the like button and be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell. Life is indeed challenging, but it can also be filled with love, light, and peace. And I wish that for you from my heart, space to yours.